Hello and welcome to my next tutorial about PrepoMX. In this tutorial I will show you how to perform a transient heat transfer analysis and calculate the time needed to cool down a sphere. Let's create a new model first. This will be a three-dimensional model and I will import the geometry now. And the geometry in this case is extremely simple. It's just a sphere, uh, nothing uh, else. And now let's create the mesh. I will specify the meshing parameters. Uh, this will be uh, two millimeters for maximum element size and I will uh, mesh uh, this uh, simple geometry now. Mesh is created, uh, so I can proceed to analysis setup. Uh, and the first thing that I will do, uh, I will set the uh, material properties. Uh, this will be steel, so I will uh, specify the material name and now I'll have to specify density. Uh, specific heat and uh, thermal uh, conductivity and that's because the analysis uh, that we perform today will be uh, transient heat transfer analysis uh, in previous uh, tutorials uh, I just had to specify the thermal conductivity uh, for steady state uh, heat transfer analysis and now because of the time dependency I also have to specify specific heat and density so for the density uh, I have the values here for the density and uh, specific heat and those are uh, needed for analytical calculation uh, so I just have to use uh, proper units uh, to specify this in uh, prepomex and this is the density mm, specific heat uh, will be uh, quite large in, with these units and uh, I will also specify uh, thermal uh, conductivity which is not needed for the uh, analytical solution but uh, is necessary for uh, analysis uh, let's uh, confirm this and now I will uh, apply the uh, section with this material to uh, the sphere. I can also of course name this uh, steel. And uh, now it's done. Uh, now I have to uh, create a new step but uh, before I will do this uh, I will also define initial conditions uh, for the first time in, in these tutorials. Uh, so mm, I will have to specify the initial temperature. Uh, in this case this is uh, 25 degrees and uh, for transient heat transfer analysis uh, initial temperature is very important uh, so it's, it's necessary to uh, specify a proper value let's confirm this and now uh, i will uh, define a new step uh, this will be heat transfer step and this time i will uh, disable steady state uh, and now I, I can also uh, change the incrementation to automatic and now i, am, I can uh, change the incrementation settings uh, I will change the time period. This is the Im important thing here because mm, it uh, specifies how long uh, the analysis lasts. I mean, I mean uh, what the time period is evaluated in the analysis. And now uh, I can also specify the maximum number of uh, increments uh, and also uh, the initial uh, time increment uh, can be changed to let's say 10 uh, seconds and uh, maximum time increment uh, not too large let's say uh, 100 uh, seconds and this will be later uh, used by the solver uh, i can confirm this and now uh, i will create a, a convection uh, film uh, type of load i will apply this to the whole uh, surface of the sphere and uh, sink temperature in this case is very low it's minus 60 uh, degrees and uh, we are cooling down the sphere uh, from its initial uh, room temperature and i can also specify i, I have to also specify film coefficient and this is in, in, in 20 uh, with these standard units i just have to uh, convert this to uh, units using millimeters uh, and now mm, i can also uh, confirm this uh, setting and uh, now the analysis is prepared so that the setup was uh, pretty easy um, but uh, I can also define uh, history output uh, I will use node output type and I will specify the uh, temperature uh, variable uh, because I, I need to evaluate the temperature and now I have to select the region uh, I could choose one of the nodes of the, on the surface but instead I will specify uh, ID and uh, large number should uh, in this case be fine because it will correspond to some uh, node uh, located in the middle of the uh, sphere that's that's what i want to uh, that what i want to uh, evaluate it doesn't have to be located exactly in the middle i just want to uh, just ch check the temperature in one of the points inside the sphere uh, let's uh, let's confirm this and uh, now i can uh, submit the analysis it may take a while because it's quite large uh, um, time
Right, it took a while, but the results are available now, so let's open them. Okay, now we can compare the results with the logical solution. Unfortunately, Calculix doesn't have an option to uh, stop the analysis uh, when the steady state is reached, because uh, some uh, other solvers have an option to stop the analysis when t when temperature difference between uh, increments, um, subsequent increments uh, in each uh, node is uh, sufficiently small, and then it's assumed that it's a steady state. And in cal Calculix it's not possible, so I had to specify a uh, longer uh, time period of the analysis uh, to uh, reach the steady state during the uh, transient simulation. Uh, and let's check um, the history output uh, that I defined. You can see that the um, sphere reached uh, 60, uh, minus 60 degrees. Uh, I can also make a, a section view and the def differences are, are minor, so, so it's pretty much the, the same uh, temperature. Uh, but let's also check um, the history output. Uh, I can scroll down, there are lots of uh, outputs here. And uh, let's compare this with an analytical solution. Uh, what is interesting is that um, in this method, um, this is taken from, f from Incropera's book, uh, and the method is called lamped capacitance. And uh, with this approach, uh, it's not possible to uh, calculate um, the time uh, needed to um, needed to uh, achieve the temperature, um, which is the same as uh, ambient temperature, uh, because as you can see uh, here, uh, I uh, here I have to uh, in, in this uh, in this fraction. Uh, if if I if let's say that um, this is th this is the final temperature, this is the ambient temperature, and uh, if those were equal, uh, I would uh, have uh, division by zero here. Uh, so uh, it's not possible to mm, put uh, exactly the same temperature uh, as the the final temperature for which we want to, to find that uh, time. Uh, but we can take temperature which is very very close, like even uh, if it could be uh, minus 59.99, for example, or 0.9 or whatever. Uh, but I took um, this uh, value um, because uh, it, it seems more reasonable. Uh, and you can also uh, find uh, find the time needed to um, achieve uh, any of, of the temperatures lower than the, the final uh, value of the steady state, which is ambient temperature. So this is the time in seconds, uh, around uh, 10,000 seconds uh, needed to um, reach the, the temperature uh, specified here. And let's check the analysis. Um, we can scroll uh, to this uh, value of the time. You can see that uh, this uh, mm, this uh, time is quite similar here because uh, if we compare, if we check the the value minus fifty nine point nine, uh, if we try to define this with some uh, inaccuracy here, uh, it will be uh, somewhere here. Let's say. And this is the where the uh, this value starts to appear, and this is pretty close to uh, what we found uh, in uh, the uh, analytical calculation. I can also make a plot. Uh, this is also possible to uh, highlight the uh, cells and make a plot, uh, and this will show uh, nicely the uh, steady state being reached after some time. Uh, so we can see that uh, the temperature falls down and eventually reaches the uh, steady state, which is uh, uh, ambient temperature, uh, which is specified in convection uh, condition. Uh, that the analytical uh, approach uh, give, uh, gives us only ap approximate value of the temperature, and that will be this is a, a approximate method, but uh, it's quite nice uh, to find the mm, approximate temperature, uh, time uh, needed to uh, cool down to a particular temperature or, or heat up to, to a particular temperature. Uh, all right, mm, that's it for this uh, pre programming tutorial. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, as always, feel free to ask any questions and suggest topics for tutorials in the comments. Have a nice day and see you in the next video.